Welcome back, Shovel Family. Today, your girl is back with another anime reaction video. Today, I'm jumping into Cyberpunk Edge Runners. So, I heard many great things about this series. Um, one personally from my older brother, Rags. You know, I'm pretty sure y'all remember him, right? For all my old time viewers, y'all remember Rag. He will always pop up in the JoJo reaction <laughs> anime videos and in the comments or whatever. But yeah, anyways, I got a big 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 great review from him how he said yeah shannon you should watch this. you should watch this because it's it's fire like you know it's real fire um and i said what he was like yeah shannon this shit made me cry i said nigga no anime has ever made you cry anime made you cry and mind you this nigga older than me like he in his mid 30s and we've been watching anime for a very long time i mean a long time we've been watching anime since the 90s we're both in our 30s so it's like you know i'm just in my early 30s but anyways that's besides the point the point is yeah so you know for him to say that and for him to say that this shit is so real and that it will fit me and my personality and that I'm really going to love it and it, that I'm going to love everything about it. You know, it, it just speaks volumes because it's rare when I have Ragnar tell me those things about an anime. That was one. Then two, um, one of my fans, Big Chief, and and I think someone else, they told me <laughs> that um, Edge Runners is where it's at. Like, Cyberpunk is where it's at. This shit is a win-win. This shit is a 10 out of 10 anime. Like, this shit is high-key underrated. This shit is, like, like orgasm, my nigga. Like, dead ass. And, um, yeah. So, funny thing, though, is um, I remember one night, like recently i think it was like last week i was watching i was like i was on netflix right and i was watching eden zero so after i was watching i was done watching eden zero i was like you know what let me see another anime to watch and this shit just so happened to pop up of um new shows that that says on netflix new shows new animes that came out whatever so I'm like, you know what? I was like, let me check this out. Mind you, I decided to check that out before Ragnar told me about the show. So I'm like, yeah, let me check this out. It was like two something in the morning and I was really fucking tired. Like I said, nah, like so. But I remember watching the first two minutes of it and I said, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna wait. I was like, something is telling me to just react to this show. Because this show looked like it's gonna pop off. And so I just left it alone. And I was mad tired. I didn't feel like watching a whole 30 minute you know, of, 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 of a show again, you know, when you know I'm mad tired and I had work the next day. So I said, you know what? No, I'm gonna react to this shit. But and within those two minutes, uh I like how the what you call it. I like how the world looks like. Like I like, I love the color palette. I love, I'm a sucker for colors. I love colors, especially neon colors. Oh my God, that shit is so sexy. And it's just like, and and I think the main character is fucking hot. My nigga, that is my new boyfriend for the season. All right, this nigga is sexy. Like he could get it. I was like, nigga, please. Like just be real. Like, can you come out? Can you come out of the TV screen? You know, but uh, anyways i forgot his name i don't know his name but yeah word uh anyways I, I just like how shit looks like the how the world looks how he looks how how everything is so high def high tech it's very very um futuristic very like interact like it's just uh so with that being said i say you know what nah i i gotta react to this shit yeah fuck that i'm gonna react to it so yeah, that is why I'm here. And that is a long ass fucking explanation, Shannon. God damn, what the hell? Like, you're crazy. Like, you didn't even have to explain yourself for that long. But here we are. We fucking did. So yeah, without any further ado, let's just jump right into this shit. All right? All right, let's go. Yeah, so look at this world. It's so crazy. And the side, the side of the, the like you see the holographic like screens, it looks like a film. Like uh the film, the film tape, like when you're filming a movie and shit. 
Or like the film when you remember those um those cameras back in the day and you'll see the film, you open up the back and you see the film and it'll be brown. Yeah. Come to find out this was made by um Studio Trigger, the same ones who created Darling and the France, Promar and uh Gurren Logan. So that's fire. God damn. Nigga, you're about to get your ass got. Come on. Oh, D, all those shell casings? Nigga is ruthless. Ew. So that makes him more, like, agile and all that other shit? Like, he activates some shit in his spinal cord? Fire his system. Military gay ice. Damn, so he also got their shit too. Damn, bro's game over. Oh, damn. Right in your face. <laughs> what do you think? Still warm? Wait, I'm watching it in Japanese. <laughs> Hold up, hold up. So when I first, when I saw the first two minutes, I watched it in English. But he sounds good. This sounds good in Japanese. Hold the fuck up. <laughs> Y'all mad slow. Yeah. Yo, don't tell me niggas is gonna be fucking in this anime. Yeah, he's hot. Yo, he looks so out of it. Like, bro, like he just got fucked. Like, he's like, damn, niggas really got me in the game. I see the struggle is real with him. Well, for his family. What? Ain't that? Hold up, hold up, hold up. That looked like the scene from the video game. From the game he was playing, right? The hell? And she got a, a hidden agenda too, because she thinks she was all low like thinking yeah she's just a regular mom who's been overworked but nah that bitch is doing something else too so i see she's like an ems lady yeah this nigga really don't care what the hell is up with niggas yo people are tweaking y'all saw that the fat nigga had like one of those dick sucking machines on his shit that's crazy and he probably got the um the VR gear on him too. That's annoying. It just says walk, walk as you keep walking. Like I get it. Yeah, that's why he's smirking. He's like, yeah, that was me. Mm-hmm. And what? That's crazy. So anything that ha but uh, I got questions, yo. Nah. Oh, it's a bitch. Nah, bro, you wasn't seeing things. You saw what you saw. So let me get this straight. The VR gear, like the game he was playing, right, digitally, could, it, it basically affects the real world. Because clearly, we saw his avatar in the game is the shit that got picked up in the real world and got taken into the, the ambulance and shit. You know, the, the avatar, he got killed. Zero absences. Hmm. Why everybody looking at him like that? So he could hear everybody talking shit? Meditation room for Green Doc? What the hell? So I feel like he, he's being pressured to be in this school setting. Yeah, I was going to say that's the life he's going to choose. Like he's going to choose because you see his mind ain't really in the school mindset right now. Okay, but what, but you got to ask him like what he wants what for himself. Yeah, but that I'm telling you school is not what he want to do. I knew it. I was going to say, yo, these niggas is going to pull up and shoot him. Oh, they're shooting the other. Okay, the other man. That's crazy. 
That's retarded. Wow, how they just go and destroy their vehicle? Well, not the, this city is bad. This city is corrupted. Oh, shit. I remember seeing that shit, too, in the game. Nah, they're going to kill her. Not a client. City meat wagons. That's crazy. Bro, you got to get get out the seatbelt. That's crazy. Visitation's not part of your package. What? But that's my that's my fucking mom. And now I see if anything why he got into the life he's about to head into now. I think he's gonna enter some shady ass business to make to pay his mom's hospital bills. Wait, so this settles the medical so he had a lot. So she had a lot. Hmm. Can't be that cheap for real. Chun. <laughs> so that's good. So he was able to cover his mom's hospital bills because she had mad money saved up. Mad money saved up. So. But yeah, I'm telling you, he's going to get himself in some shit. It's crazy how an anime character has an American name, you know? Like David Martinez. Martinez clearly, you know, Spanish. But it's like, mm -hmm. why are they coming at him? Yo, the, he needs to kill them. Nigga, yo, can y'all kill him? Damn, he's just trying to fuck them up. What is leaking from his hair? <laughs> That's crazy. So he could use that shit in real life too. So he needs to connect that that spinal shit thing that he got. He needs to put it on his back. I'm like, who the fuck he think he is? Bruce Lee making all those noises. The fuck? Okay, so chrome is a as a implant. Okay. Please tell me she's she's still alive. She's gonna make it out alive. A vital's nose dive. That means she's dying on a discount package. Oh, yeah, she dying. Damn, she is dead. Oh, funeral center. Payment plans, damn, yo. How much is the cremation service? Fire on. Nah, it already. That's crazy. Bro, she is gone. Bro. Damn, it's just bills on top of bills on top of bills. So these will be shut down. Damn, he's got it so bad. That's fucking crazy, yo. No, his eyes is red. Oh, yeah, fine. Fuck you, too. <laughs> Call Katsuo. That motherfucker. Yo, he, yo, Katsuo is the same nigga that was fighting him, right? That's fucked up. Is he able to even hear it? Can he just disconnect that call? <laughs> so he saw the doctor in person? Yep. What did I say? And what did I say, fam? Oh man, based on Cyberpunk 2077. All right, so that was that was really fucking good. Nah, okay. As you can see, this is like the second episode right here, and I think I'm gonna play the second episode. <laughs> no, that was so fire, guys. Guys. It sucks that his mom died like that. That's just fucked up. That's crazy, yo. Trauma team ain't really a trauma team. They don't, they look out for their own people, whatever that means, you know? Like, talking about when they get up to the scene, they're like, oh, ew, they scan her. They scan them and they say, oh, wait, it's not a client. 
Like, what the fuck you mean? Like, I, I gotta be a client that's related to y'all or something? Like, a, some kind of special service, some kind of special high rank person or whatever in order for me to get treated right away if I, if I get injured or whatever? No, that's crazy. This city is very shady. This is some shit. This is a shady ass fucking business. It's like dead ass. And well, this is a shady city point blank. And, um, I really don't like it. Ow. Damn. Y'all heard that too, right? That shit hurt my elbow. God damn. But yeah, that shit is crazy. Damn. But you could see it already. You saw it in the beginning. Like, and we could clearly see that nigga, um, he's going to be a problem. The main character, he's going to be a problem because if we saw in the beginning of the episode, even though that was like, you know, like virtual reality game, right? That is indeed, I guess, connected to the real world, right? Um, we see that, <sighs> cut this part out, it's a we see that he the murder motherfuckers like he has the fighting skills like he has the 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 qualities of being a badass motherfucker P probably an edge runner I, I i like i i think that's what the show is like yeah like i think he's definitely gonna become an edge runner and i think these people with these slots in their heads or whatever in their necks i should say are edge runners so yeah but yeah, word, uh, th this shit was really good. I like that it's also a great start. It's crazy because, like, I really, I really, I really like the English. I really did like the English version because I started with English. And now when I'm watching this shit, it, it's like, oh, shit, no, this isn't Japanese. And I'm like, but you know what? I'm going to let it rock. I'm going to let it rock. I mean... We saw an English, um, you know, Arcane, but that's that's not really an anime, though. That is based off of, you know, it's like a video game franchise, but Arcane ain't... The, the, the show, the cartoon itself, ain't re really related to the video game. But yeah, um... Damn, maybe I should have asked my fans what like what which one did they watch it and did they watch it in sub or dub yeah so i just asked them i just asked my fans on discord if they watched it in dub or sub i really fell in love with the dub like i really like it i really do but being that i already started reacting to it in sub you might as well just keep it up right shannon exactly all right, so we're going to go into episode two, and I really feel like this shit is really going to fucking, um, I feel like, I think that, I'm going to just call it Cyber Gear, right? I'm going to just call it Cyber Gear or whatever. I feel like that shit is going to, um, when it's really actually installed in his back, I really feel like maybe one day, like, I think he could override it. Like, I feel like it has a lot to do with your emotional state. And if you're in a fucked up emotional state, he could override the, uh, the, 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 the machine's fucking functions and like, it could go out of control, or whatever. And he could, you know, go ballistic, which I'm kind of hoping that happens, but I want him to go ballistic while being in control. You know, but yeah, nah, that nigga is asking for a beating though. That motherfucker, um, his classmate, yeah, that nigga is asking for it. He needs to die. For real. And I, I think this nigga is gonna I think this nigga is gonna kill him. Yeah. Alright, so let's go into episode two. This shit is quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm mad. He really he really getting the shit suck. I can't. Uh. Oh, that's fire. You see the different characters in the in his reflection. You saw that? 
That's crazy. How nigga, the doctor dead just got his nut off and he's like, okay, yeah, you know what? Let me help you. <laughs> yeah, trigger. Yes. Mm, I wonder who's the big boss, the big man. Oh shit. His back is mad bloody. <laughs> oh, in the classroom, this nigga got guts. I'm mad the students all walked out too, like, up. Oh. <laughs> He's doing some Diablo shit. <laughs> you remember how Diablo moved to journal side <laughs> in part five, JoJo? <laughs> Nigga, he don't even want to be here anyway, so yeah, go and expel him. Exactly. Like, nigga, he don't give a fuck. That's crazy. That shit is mad bloody. Oh, shit. How he got transferred back here? What the fuck was that? <laughs> yep, they connected the lots from that in the first episode. They're on to him. Seven That's the product. Are they gonna pay him for this? <laughs> he always has that lost look on his face. I kind of like it. I'm like, did he wash that uniform? I mean, yeah. The jacket. Oh, there she goes again. They were meant to happen. Like, I wonder if they're gonna fuck. Get that shit right back. I'm like, um, nigga, you took my shit. The fuck? <laughs> I was just gonna say he dropped out. Damn, everybody in their moms know. I'll pay the second the job's done, 70 30. Mm. Her name would be Lucy. That's so cool. The phone call, you could just hear it in your head. That needs to happen. Big fish, big loot coming up. Hi, <laughs> Monster. <laughs> but this car dry. Next stop, we go. Well worth the 20%. <laughs> He's bleeding so much. Is he bleeding so much because of the gear he used? Yeah. Damn, everything is money in the city. Nah. He never... No? Hmm. He don't take none. <laughs> That's, um... Hey, we passed the... <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Yo, she is wallet. Let me guess, he fell in love with her or something? <laughs> Ew, you threw up and you smelling that shit all at the same time. But um, this nigga, the, the principal and shit, they're gonna need, not the principal, the owner for the school, they're gonna need, they still want him. I ain't running no charity. Yep, I, I, like they said in the first episode, everything is money in this show. Everybody gotta get paid. 
I mean, it's like it's like that that shit is meant to be. You're either a total masochist. Let's not use it more than two times a day. Three max. I feel like that machine and him is meant to be together. Bro, you was kind of doing it and when you was playing it in the first episode. That's that avatar. And using this type of gear comes with a price. Like, you got to take drugs just to suppress the fucking effects of it. That's crazy. The cyber psycho. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, she's gonna pay you, just relax. Yeah, they gonna get it on, sis. Yeah. Now let me stop. Who knows? It'll be nice for him to get some pussy because <laughs> he needs it. And they make a cute couple. Yep. <laughs> Oh shit. Nah. I like this bond they're having. A lot of parents be pushing like their dreams or their wants onto their kids. Without realizing and asking them, okay, what is it that they want for themselves? You know? Exactly. There isn't, because, you know, you want to make her proud, but I feel like a true parent will fuck with you more if you know what you want for yourself instead of what they want for you, you know? Wait, so they can't physically fuck? They got to fuck digitally? She She's really just showing him something. Okay. Cause you saw like the condom wrapper. That looked like a condom wrapper on the bed. When they gonna hold hands, yo? Like right now. Yeah, nigga. Take that hint. That's fire. I'm glad. What he do needs to he do to have. Sorry, I didn't make no sense. He needs to have some fun. <laughs> Did he throw up in it? Free bubbly. <laughs> mm. And I like that he wears his mom's work jacket as a memento. So. Yeah, you could see Studio Trigger all over her. The eyes, the color of her hair. You fell over the edge, punk. Oh, shit. She set him up? It's gonna end just like that? She set him up? That's fucking crazy. Just fucking... Sh I should've fucking knew. I mean, with that type of... That shit on his back. That shit is... Everybody and their moms want it. Everybody and their moms want to get paid for getting it. Everybody wants to test it out. Every, you know? So, of course, for her, it's gonna be like... Oh word, yeah, I got I got the boy who got your shit. Boom, now I'm pretty sure they're gonna pay her a pretty penny. That's crazy. She sure damn fucking fooled me. But I should've known never to trust this bitch. Cause it was just so easy. It's like she easily let him right in just to let down his guard, you know? I don't know. Like, I don't know if she really did care about him or what. I think it was both. She's like, yeah, I want money. I want to turn this nigga in. But also at the same time, you know, he's a cool, he's a cool kid. Like, let me show him this space. Let me show him so-and-so, you know, so. Okay, I like the ending, the visuals. All right, so that shit was fire. No, 
When I say that shit was fire, that shit was fire. And I... That shit was so fucking good. Oh my God. So now that big nigga, right? That just decked the shit out of um, David. I guess he about to get back. His, I was about to say his ether gear. <laughs> I'm watching too much. It is zero. He's about to get back like his cyber gear and shit. And um, yeah, I want to know what the fuck is going to happen next. I need to know what's going to happen next. Oh, I caught 111. I need to see what the fuck is going to happen next. Nah, but we're going to we're going to save it for another time, but this was fire. This was so cool. Like, what is in store for David's life? This is something I need to know. This is something that is this this anime is really addicting. It's so good. And Studio Trigger, I feel like they know exactly what they're doing when it comes to these stories. I swear. I swear to God. All right, yeah. So y'all let me know. What are y'all thoughts on this? And I'm going to get going. I'm going to see y'all soon. Johnny.